And Caitlin Slater joins us now. Caitlin, you have been our intern the entire summer and you're about to go to school. You've been behind the scenes, but we figured you needed one last test because today is your last day. So your test is on camera. So okay. we want you to read from the teleprompter. We'll let you introduce our next story. I, think I can handle this. Okay. Okay. The summer months bring extra heat and humidity, but experts warn for some, it's also a season for getting kidney stones. Manuel Gallegas has more in this Live at Five Health Watch. It's been a painful, uncomfortable summer for 44-year-old Mehmet Donick. Near to the point where I was going to pass out from the pain. They found blood in my urine, and they sent me for a CAT scan, determined that I had a kidney stone. Kidney stones are common, affecting about 4 million people in the U.S., usually more men than women. They're small, hard deposits of mineral and acid salts that form in the kidneys, and doctors say they see more patients as the temperatures and humidity rise. We find a, a big spike in the number of kidney stone cases presenting in July, August, September as the weather heats up. We have a belief that this is because people are more dehydrated. Stones can range in size from a grain of sand to a golf ball. Diet can also play a role. Too much protein, salt, and sugar can increase the chance of them forming. Doctors say the best way to prevent kidney stones, or at least keep them from getting bigger, is to drink plenty of water, about a half gallon a day. The other is to have lemon juice, real lemon juice, every day. Lemon juice has citrate, and citrate helps prevent the crystallization of calcium in your urine. How has your pain been in the last couple of days? Donick yeah. stayed hydrated while his kidney stone was closely monitored. Because of its size, the doctor finally recommended surgery. I was hoping that it would pass on its own. And just a few days before his procedure, it did pass, and he avoided surgery. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, New York. Kaylin, you did such oh. a good job. Oh, oh wow. That was really quick. <laughs> okay, you've got to, to finish the show. Okay, what do I say? It's oh, on the be sure to join us Monday for Live at 5. Dr. Masante Levine will drop by for his weekly house call, and he'll answer your medical questions in our Ask the Doc segment. That's Monday on Live at 5. For now, stay tuned. The CBS Evening News is next. You passed. Oh, thank you. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you guys so You're going to come back and visit, though. Of course. Okay, Like, good. I have to.